All right, guys, quickly, we're gonna start this video out with, I have a handful of Living Proof hair items that I'm gonna talk about. Uh, I've tried a lot of Living Proof on and off, but I haven't fully reviewed things, like maybe outside of their dry shampoo, which is their number one thing. I'm here to talk to you about these products to promote an event that is happening Monday, May 16th, 20% off the whole site with $35 purchase. If you spend 65, you'll get a free bottle of their dry shampoo, which that's the best item to get for free in my personal opinion. But there's other items I've discovered in this past week where I'm kind of like, these are kind of really, really cool and uh, a couple will be repurchases. So uh, that's what we'll have for like the first portion of the video and then move on to really awesome makeup things, lip things, eye things complexion things, Winky Lux, we've never really talked about that brand, but like, I'm all about it. So yeah, that's what this vlog is gonna be about. All right, let's dive into the products I have already tried, uh, which is most of them here. So we have the Restore Repair Mask. I use this to wash, well not wash my hair, to mask my hair two nights ago. Uh, I, I don't see a huge difference in the beginning, obviously, because it's the first time. It does claim to deeply nourish, which I think, yes. My hair actually felt a little softer, which very, very, very few products can do. I have such dry, thick, coarse hair that it always can look pretty, but it only looks pretty because of product, not because it's like naturally pretty hair, you know what I mean? Uh, it claims to also reverse damage. We will need to use this more frequently in order to find that out. Uh, this is my beloved, I can't pronounce this, Ren Furter. It's their smoothing fluid. I probably bought this final bottle. It probably came off eBay from Singapore or something. I cannot find this product anymore. I checked their website. I don't know, where is it? And then when I tried this out, I was like, this seems very, very familiar in a really good way. I'm not saying they're the same. But I'm saying, if you were someone that loved this, you will love this. And I'm <laughs> really, really excited about that. Because, you know when like a product you really, really love goes away and you don't know what you're supposed to do after that? I felt that way with this product. So I'm really happy to have this and we'll probably repurchase this because now, now I, you know, Yes. Within this like lineup, I kind of tried to like combine the same color bottles together thinking, you know, it's the same line. There's also this Restore Perfecting Spray. It's a conditioning detangling spray. I am not someone that uses a detangling any product because if you look at my hair, nothing, nothing tangles. Even when I curl it, it is not tangling. Uh, I remember in college, my roommate, she was trying to braid my hair and uh, so I was like, I want braids. <laughs> she was just, you could just feel the frustration because my hair, she's like, your hairs don't want to stick to the other hairs. And she had to use so much product to get my braids done. I mean, I loved it afterwards. I just had to sit there. It did kind of hurt. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of tugging, but uh, I don't use detangling products. So I might try this out for the conditioning aspect of it. But as far as detangling goes, I... I'll probably just use it as like a leave-in, do you know what I mean? But I'll let you know. Uh, this I've been using for a few days. It's the Flex Hairspray Sets, Shapes, Finishes. And you're like, <clears throat> she's never talked about hairspray before. You're right, I don't talk about hairspray because I don't use hairspray, but this had heat protection. So I was like, I've never used a product kind of like that where it is a hairspray and heat protection. Again, I'm kind of hair dumb, so if this kind of product exists, I don't know but I've been using it and I like it. So I've been using it as my heat protectant before I style my hair. I think it is like shinier than my any other heat protectant. And the added benefit of it having this like flex, let me see, you can obviously use it to finish your hair too. So let's try that. This is probably don't, this is not a tutorial. Please don't use <laughs> whatever I'm doing. Because I grew up in a time when like hairspray was just like, ugh, you know, like we don't like hairspray because it, it can be crunchy or it's like too, too much of a hold. Whereas this, like, I mean, could this probably replace a, a beach wave spray? Maybe, at least for me. So I feel like it's just shiny and I really like it. I don't have any oils in my hair. I don't have anything in my hair that would give it the shine. So I'm, I'm all about this. This next product, I don't know if we want to try on camera. It's the Full Thickening Mousse. Oh, guys, again, I am hair dumb. I always feel like mousse is something for people with curly hair, but 
let's give it a go. Oh, it has an instruction. Hold can upright to dispense. Okay, so you know you have to shake it. And then I don't even know how much to use. We're just going to use this much. I assume what's coming over. He's like, what is that? Okay, so my major thing is I like having volume here. So let's see how it does, guys. This could be a complete fail because, you know, <laughs> there could be intense user error here. Am I doing it right? Is this how you... There's uh, so much root, guys. I can't... I don't even know if I should even bother covering my roots anymore. I should just accept it as part of my life now because I can dye my hair, I can dye my roots, I can do all these things. And uh, within, within three days, guys, I don't even get a week. Within three days, I have to... Redye my roots. Never said I knew how to do hair. Okay, that 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 I'll let you know. Like as the day goes on, how I feel about it. The last product is the Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. It relieves dryness, itching, and irritation. First of all, look at this component. Uh, <laughs> so easy to apply. There's even instructions on the back that tell you kind of how to part your hair to get you know maximum benefit from this. I'm gonna try this out tonight and I will let you guys know. Okay, I am hot and sweaty and the AC is on, so sorry for that, but I want to revisit this. Going forward, this is what I want. Heat protection and hairspray. I'm using one product. Typically by now, this is like five o'clock and I did my hair probably around like eight. The fact that this curl, like these waves still exist and in this way, like where it's still like pretty, usually uh, the bottom part of my hair, like I'll still have like a little curl and wave here, but up here it usually flattens out, especially if I haven't like, you know, layered it regularly. But I'm just saying like, this is like hairspray heat protectant, and apparently it can probably substitute my like wave spray Yeah. All right, guys, this is the following day. I am here to update you guys on some things. Okay, so I used this last night. It was super easy to use. Now, can I tell you anything based on using it once? Not really. It does make your scalp feel really nice. It is really, really easy to apply. So if you are someone that suffers from scalp issues, you will absolutely find relief in this, but I don't know what it's going to change because, you know, that takes time. But I did like it for that. And then I wanted to update this, not this one, where is it? This. I did this thickening mousse yesterday, right? And today, it. now here's the thing. I don't have a greasy scalp. I don't have an oily scalp, so I'm not going to speak to that demographic. However, when I, you know, went to do my hair this morning, it was as if I had still, like, texture powder or texturizing spray or what I would typically do is put dry shampoo here to kind of bring back that volume because you know when you're sleeping it just smushes this whole area but with this like without applying anything I was kind of able to like just zhuzh this whole area again and yeah so a little multi-use for me here so uh after this whole kind of like four or five days of reviewing and like testing stuff out let me say this i'm like super into now <laughs> again i don't really understand mousse that much so i'm gonna have to learn a little more uh and i apologize if anything looked <laughs> super off because you know obviously i haven't used it before this stuff is so multi-purpose i am so excited for this it heat protects it saves my style like you know like memory i feel like and it kept my hair looking like i had just done it for the whole day which I never look for that in a product because I, I guess I guess I don't care really if my hair falls or my makeup you know kind of you know fades a little bit it's just like an expectation I have that I'm okay with but now that I saw how good my hair can look the whole day I was kind of like that that is a nice bonus so uh very into this and then the repair leave-in I also really love this the other products I'm just I like them but I'm not like Oh my god about them so let me know like your favorite living proof items because this is a brand that i dip in and out of and of course the dry shampoo is phenomenal right we all know that anyway i will leave the code below with 20 percent off with your 35 dollars plus purchase if you spend 65 dollars you'll get a free dry shampoo which 
if you're gonna get anything for free from this line I do recommend the dry shampoo and also summer is coming so uh, I go through so much more dry shampoo thank you for living proof for sending that over thank you Cindy for always taking care of me and uh, we'll move on to all right guys hear me out just orange juice and cream soda like half and half so good so refreshing I know you can buy orange cream soda or you can get orange soda and cream soda mixed together but there is something about just like the orange juice maybe not fresh squeezed but you know hey calcium and vitamin d enriched with your cream soda it is so good i've been doing this for like a week this is not new probably i mean it's 100 percent not new but i've just discovered it and i want to share it with you because i love cream soda like it's my favorite soda and uh i could do some ice cream i could do some whipped cream but this is just the easy 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 version you're welcome Okay, three really random things to share with you. Oh, is it Big Lots? Do you guys remember these? You I mean, you have to be older, like 80s babies, but like, I'm pretty sure Google told me that these were discontinued. So these showed up, I don't know. I had a 20% off coupon. I was really excited. Um, so either these are discontinued and these are from like 1995 or they're just, they're around again. Love them both. Next, do you remember when Trader Joe's had watermelon jerky? but it was almost like a watermelon, super thin chip. So imagine like hard rice paper, but chewy and watermelon flavored almost. So I saw this at Big Lots and got really excited because look how beautiful. I've had like a good amount of it, but this actually tastes and feels like a jerky. It's kind of softer. Oh, so good. Okay, lastly, this is from the dollar store. Look how cute. I have to dye my roots all the time. So you can put the hair dye in here and you pump this and there's holes in the brush and you can get like a nice little even situation. Like, mm, I'm excited. I haven't tried it yet. Can't speak to the efficacy, but great concept for $1.25. Anyway, moving on, we have so many good makeup things that I want to share with you. So what I have on the face is the Winky Luxe White Tea Tinted Veil. For all of my dry skin girls or girls who have experienced patchiness, this is such a beautiful product. I feel like it's incredibly, incredibly smooth on the skin. Um, I have, you can't see it right now, I have so much texture on my face, like in this area, this area on my forehead. I feel like it's a combination of the weather getting warmer and then me haven't properly transitioned my skincare. On top of that, I've been wearing a mask still when I go into like a store and like, you know, it's warmer now and I'm, it, it just, it's messing up the skin. So we're not having breakouts per se, but it's textured. And this is so beautiful. I have mine in the shade Light. I believe you can get this off of Ulta, uh, Amazon, their actual website. That's when I purchased this. They have like, a, it was like 25 or 30% off. I listed it in my description box. I will always try to list like all the sales that I see that might be of interest to you during the weekend, it's typically when I upload. So, so beautiful. Now it is, the coverage is light. I, it doesn't even go light medium. It's very light, but if you don't have too much to even out, it's so, so beautiful and it feels so good on your skin. Before purchasing that, I was using the Winky Lux Peeper Perfect. This went viral on TikTok. Uh, I picked up light medium initially because every almost every lighter shade was sold out. I can still use this. I actually mix this and I can use this on my face and I use it on like the inner corners almost as a corrector because it has like a peachier tint to it. And then finally when everything came back in stock, I picked up light beige, which is actually the most perfect shade for my under eyes. Okay, so there's light beige and there's light medium. They're just, it's so beautiful under the eyes, guys. It is such a smooth, again, smooth. There's something about Winky Lux complexion where everything is just so smooth. I would say you get no more than medium coverage, but it's so incredibly, incredibly beautiful under the eyes. I picked up the Fenty Matchstick, the mini one in amber. I've never picked up their contour sticks before, even when they initially launched and there was so much hype behind them. I just, I don't know, I don't know why. But when these minis came out, I was very attracted to them because it's such a small size that when you're contouring your nose, like yeah, I can do my face with it and I have done my jawline today with it. 
but to do the nose it is such a convenient perfect size it applies the exact perfect amount of contour so i'm a big fan of this they have this in amber and mocha mocha's deeper a little more red uh, i wouldn't be against picking that one up and these smaller sizes are 14 probably you know cost per ounce maybe not super worth it but i'm just really contouring my nose with this and it's just so good for travel this size that has been a very big thing lately because I'm going to be traveling more. I keep looking for kind of like products I really love in a smaller component. The Hourglass, okay, I was really off Hourglass for a while, guys, because, you know, they just, it was like they came out with complexion products and, you know, foundations, concealers, and they were accommodating like deeper skin tones, but the, their most popular products, i.e. their blushes, bronzers, and just setting powders, finishing powders, it just seemed like they could not, would not do the darker shades and it just really irritated me. So there's probably like a two year period where I did not buy any Hourglass. I was like, I'm done. But then they released that volume three of that face palette and I was watching all the reviews of all these dark skin girls applying it and I was like, okay, finally. It, it works, something that works. Then I was like, okay. But even after that was released, I still really was kind of like, mm, I don't know yet. You know, it's kind of hard to convince me. But these products were released. These eyeliners and these lip products, y'all, <laughs> so good. So for the eyeliners, I have the shade Chestnut and Forest, I believe. Beautiful, love. Chestnut is almost like a burgundy brown, red type color. And Forest is, of course, a green. I have Forest on the uh, waterline today, kind of really blended in there. And these are the swatches, and they are so pretty. The component, beautiful. The formula, beautiful. Get them at Ulta, get it at Sephora. I grabbed a whole bunch of these, like, and these, like, products when there was that Happy 15 code, and it was, like, $15 off a $50 purchase, so I just put in a couple of purchases and got my $15 off, so that was really good. For what is on my lips, okay, you guys know, my favorite kind of products. I wanted to do this so you, I could do a comparison. The Tarte Maracuja uh, Juicy Lips, this one's in Grapefruit. We love, love this. These are kind of those, like, melty-type lip gloss and a balm-type products. The Sephora Melting Lip Click, which we know is probably probably discontinued at this point, unfortunately. M Cosmetics, these little lip cushion luminizer things, beautiful. The Surratt Lip Sleek, also huge love here. The more recent ones are the Makeup by Mario, his like balms, pumping lip serums. I initially picked up Rose Glow and Apricot Glow, and then when his website did like a 25 or 30% off, I grabbed Bear Glow, which has been kind of out of stock for a while. It's the lightest shade. It has kind of like a light peachy pink tint to it. So these we love. I'm about to make a very bold, kind of bold statement and just say that these hourglass ones are better than all of those, almost. Almost just for the pure shine purposes because I think the Tarte is very, very glossy and very, very pigmented. And the same kind of goes for the Makeup by Mario, which not as pigmented, but there's something about the way this one sits on your lips that is beyond. So I have three shades here. We have Mist, which is what I have on, which is a kind of peachy pink. When I apply this, I feel like so pretty. So, so pretty. And if you are like medium tan darker, I would go for Lucid. Lucid is kind of a, a coral. Do swatches. So I've worn all of these and I just, I'm so, so into them. The coral. And then the last shade I have is called Trace and it's kind of like a light brown. So that's Mist. That's what I have on the lips. This is Lucid. And this last one here is Trace. You can't even see them. They're so shiny, right? It's so, so shiny. So let me pop Lucid onto my lips so you can see. Like this one's a little brighter. So if you want like a brighter look. Oh, like, you can't tell me anything. You can't tell me anything about negative about me when I have these on. I'm like, mm -mm, no. So that's Lucid. Trace uh, on me is not a very brightening shade, but if you're a little deeper, 
If you have a tan, yeah, you'll like this. Like, so beautiful. Okay, moving on. Also kind of in the same arena are these YSL Rouge Volup Shine. I don't know what was going on there. The website, it was like some crazy, it was like buy one, get one, but then you could also apply a code and get a percentage off. I got these for like $14 each, which is like crazy. But anyway, I had my eye on these. I had these like in my Sephora wish list for a while, these two shades, so I'm so excited to have them. It's 150 and 151. 150 and 151. So 150 leans more pink and 151 leans orange. I just, oh, so beautiful. And the price, wild, out of this world. I only just now discovered that this thing opens up from the bottom and there's a brush. Regardless, this is also, oh, apparently also from YSL. It's the Touche Clot 3D All Over Glow in the shade Universal. This has been out for a while. It goes in and out of my cart on like Saks, Neiman, Sephora. I don't even know if you can see it if I swatch it. So it comes in this really beautiful baby pink component. And this is what the product looks like. It has a very peachy, rosy tone to it. I don't know how to, how to swatch it properly for you, but I have it on the heights of my cheekbones and it just amplifies your bronzer or your blush. With this, I feel like I want to avoid blush because it already gives kind of like a rosy, peachy, reflective. So it's right here. So you can see it, but it's like you see it, but you don't see it and you're like, is her skin just pretty? So beautiful. I don't have it down my nose. I have the rhodial kind of brightener, but on the cheeks, at the heights. I mean, also, it, it, this product is giving me a full on all over glow. So I really love this kind of like no makeup makeup. I mean, not the eyes, which we just have Bobbi Brown Camel and some, what did we use? The new Jane Iredell palettes. Like they're 50 bucks, they're at Ulta, they're kind of pricey, but they're really nice if you want like a really easy like shadow situation, like really easy to blend. I'm like into this hair. My hair doesn't feel crunchy. Um, and applying that mousse up here, I was actually kind of worried, but it doesn't feel like it's like clumping my hair together, which is why I'm so scared of products that are either like gel or mousse. I'm like, oh, it's just gonna make my hair all stick together. And it's like, you know, for curly hair people, but I mean, like, pat test, it doesn't feel like a helmet, so yay. All right, moving on. Okay, we have a Target haul. They had like $15 off a $90 purchase, and there's like all kinds of other deals, and those five off 20 when you do like ice cream. There was like tons of brands, but I went for all Ben and Jerry's. So, strawberry cheesecake, never had this one before. Also, give me some more, also new to me. Netflix and Chilled, also new to me. Milk and Cookies, never had this one. Tonight Dough is a favorite. I've bought this over and over. We have four cucumbers. Clorox Sentiva line. Have you guys tried anything? I heard everything here smells so good, so this was probably on sale to some degree, so I'm gonna grab these wipes. We have condensed milk. I saw a guy on TikTok just having it with his black coffee and I was like, I forgot. As someone who loves Vietnamese coffee, I mean, I don't know why I don't have this in my home permanently, but uh, and maybe even on toast. Yeah, if you know, you know. Coconut aminos. And I didn't know this, the Momofuku, their kind of ramen vibe thing is at Target. I think there's like three flavors. There was one that was spicy, you know, that was like original. So I got soy and scallion because Sounds the best to me. So you get five in here. So I grabbed a couple in case I really liked it. And uh, yeah, that is our Target haul.